As an engineering leader, there is one thing that you must do with your team members to set them up for success. And I wanna share that with you in this week's engineering management lessons video. Let's do it. All right, so as you start to manage people in your career as an engineer, you're gonna to have to start to delegate to them. And that's something we teach in our courses at EMI. I'm not gonna be able to go through that whole process in this video, however, what I do see as a major, major challenge to delegating effectively is letting your team members try it on their own. Let them get it wrong. Oftentimes we say to ourselves as leaders, as managers, you know what, it's just quicker if I do it by myself. Maybe it is quicker now, but if you end up doing that task 50 times over the next few years, it would have been much more efficient and productive to just teach someone on your team how to do it. So you need to get over that fear. You need to give them stuff early on in their careers. Let them try, let them make a mistake and then help them fix it and show them how to do it right and then continuously push them to grow in their career. Because what you're doing by allowing them to take challenges is you're helping them grow. And you're also freeing yourself up to do other things that you should be doing as you grow into new roles. This is a huge challenge for technical professionals because we're so interested in the details and making sure every little thing is perfect. And I get it, things have to be perfect on our projects, but you need to challenge people. You need to let them give it a go so they can be successful, the team can be successful, and the company will be successful. And one more thing I wanna mention here before I wrap this one up. If you're reluctant to give someone a large task because obviously things can go wrong and you have a budget you have to stick to on your projects, give them a small task or smaller tasks to begin with. Let them try it on their own. Take it from completion and bring it back to you and check it. This way, if they did get something wrong, it doesn't have to be redone over hours and hours or days and days. It's a small task that they can just redo successfully with you walking them through. So please consider challenging your team members as an engineering leader. Let them try, let them make a mistake. They need to learn, they need to grow. And by doing that, you're gonna grow as a leader. And again, your team and your company are going to grow sustainably over the long term. I hope you enjoyed this week's engineering management lessons video. We put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers become better managers and leaders. Please subscribe here to our channel so that we can help you engineer your own success. And I'll see you next week. <music>